Are you guys coming to the to the Boogie Wings fight in England? <laughs> that's, I, I still don't think that's happening. Oh, um, I, I did it's see. Gonna happen, surely. It, it, here's the thing. I I I, I did see Man. a tweet just a little while ago. I, I linked it in here where they both got their paperwork done. They're uh they're they're medically cleared, so that is done. But but I I, I continue to go back to to saying that. And I, and I hope this doesn't happen. I hope it doesn't. But I keep going back to saying that I, I think Wings is going to feel the pressure at some point and and find a reason not to travel. That's what I'll say. No. I think he'll find a reason not to. Uh, and it'll sound like a pretty good reason. And he'll be able to say, what did you want me to do? Die? It was death for certain if I took a <laughs> step forward. And and he'll he'll sort of manufacture that and throw that out there. I hope that doesn't happen. I've just seen him do it half a dozen times. And this would be the biggest, most fantastic thing he he's ever done in his 37 years of life. I think when we were going to do a camping trip, he said there was a 50-50 chance he wouldn't survive. Was that yeah, really quite well? real high chance, you know, way okay, higher than... Here, here's the thing. All right, so mainly Kyle specifically, because I feel like you're more on it, but Woody as well, I'd, I hope you're on this. But, okay, say Wings flies out to the UK and he's landed, you know, like a day or two before... <laughs> Uh -huh. You guys down. If he does that, you book a flight and come out, and I'll make sure that you're patting with some tickets when you land. I don't have a passport. <sighs> what? The the federal marshals took it from me, um, and I haven't. Back, yeah. No, I, I think I have to like ask for it, but then it's expired anyway, so I would need to like go through the whole process. But I need the old one, and I'm kind of in a spot where it, do I want to begin a conversation with the U.S. Mar marshals today? Why do you need the old? No, one? Mm. it's much easier to get the new one. If you've got the old one already, then starting from scratch, apparently. It's fast. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, definitely. it's easy as fuck without it. I mean, you still just one trip to the post office. There's Well, there's also the question of what exactly is the procedure for when a, a felon wants his once um, uh, confiscated passport back from the feds, you know? A little stressful. And I don't I don't have a, a, an immediate need for one. If I planned a vacation, for example, which would be the reason uh then i'd get get that ball rolling but i don't really feel like stressing myself out with talking to the federal government anytime soon other than paying my taxes like a good boy all of them <laughs> and more <laughs> <laughs> i just put a bonus in there i think those people are underpaid put a little something there in there extra for you <laughs> so what were you saying drew Oh, I mean, if, if it was 100% certain that wings was going to be fighting i'm telling mm -hmm. you it would be worth it to make that conversation uh, I, I I don't want to... Here's what's going to happen. Here's the other thing. They're, these are two obese men that are going to like dance around each other. It's not going to be interesting to watch. It's really not. <laughs> look, I, look it, for anybody who, who disagrees with me, I'm sorry. And, and, and if you watch it and you enjoy it, good for you. Okay, I'm so glad that you got your money's worth. But I just think it's going to be awful to watch. Remember nah, that nah, knife nah. fight? Remember the knife fight he had on his YouTube channel with that other guy with the marker? Mm. This will be... He's lucky he survived. This will be less. This will be about like that. This will be that interesting. <laughs> I mean, my thought is that I wouldn't fly to another continent for that. Like surely, surely the ropes, like three of those three small ropes, is not holding one of them falling back into it, right? So if the they fall, reason, they're going to get injured. That is What's why I'm those watching. Ropes? That is specifically is why I'm going to be watching front row. I'm, those ropes I, are stupid strong, but I'm not sure. I nah, my nah, guess nah, is it's nah, actual nah, rope. Nah. I would guess it's some sort of rope. Yeah, it's gonna be like you. You'd still be able to go through the middle of it with enough force. Like it would, it would just split open, and, and even They're if they're braided didn't break, steel cables, it would just, I was you know, right. it would. Yeah. Oh, have yeah. they always been? Well, I don't know. They hurt your ribs when you lean against them. Like, like they're what, really they're strong. wrapped in like that almost that red shit at the hotel mm -hmm. that they would make you walk through. <laughs> the always, lines. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, those little rat mazes. Ah. Oh. You've even got things. I don't about think I've ever been in a room. No, I haven't. I've just, I've just been in that cage at Joe's place and that other cage uh, at that Jits gym we went to that time. Mm -hmm. um, I, I always take away from that how how sandpaper like that that material they fight on is. Whenever I watch UFC with someone <clears throat> who's watching UFC for the first time, um, that's the thing I stress. I'm I'm like, now this is a little thing. Mm -hmm. These guys get kicked, punched, elbowed, choked. But man, the part that bothers me the worst, one of the things I hate to see is when they, they've, they've scrambled so much that they have sanded the skin off their ankles and knees and elbows in there because it must sting so much. It must hurt so much. I'd rather get hit. I'd rather get hit than like roll around, on, especially if someone's grinding you into that shit and fucking mm -hmm. you up. It, it's, got, it's awful. It's like sandpaper. It's so rough.
It is. Yeah. I don't know if a boxing ring is as rough. They always have shoes on in a boxing canvas, ring. Canvas, huh? Is, is it literal know. canvas? You know, I'm sure in the in olden days it was, but I've seen people slipping on the UFC uh, monster logo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can you yeah. believe that that's not like some sort of grippy paint or dye that's used there? Like some someone should have. Is it sweaty? Maybe they're <sighs> sweaty. Like can you it make may, a rubber it could, it could be but then yeah when people get sweaty it makes it sort of just because of the paint you know it shouldn't like, be anything it somewhere. should be the same material just colored differently Dye. not yeah not uh not yeah. some sort of slap on fly by night thing like is monster gonna be the sponsor or not fucking get it in there I, a, they've been the sponsor forever there, joe lozon was in a fight and he got bloodied and it was one of the fights that sort of made him a legend Jim Miller. Like, he, there was just no quitting and it, he had a bad cut in his face and faces bleed a ton if, if people don't know and where i'm getting to with all this is afterwards the octagon was wrecked like it was just blood everywhere and dana white sent them the canvas it's in his gym yeah so pretty yeah cool. i've seen i've it's it was so much goddamn blood it looks like a, a fucking it looks like joe didn't make it, it looks like joe didn't make it <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah i mean that that's all joe's blood <laughs> <laughs> yeah there yeah, you can that, tell where they grappled <laughs> like there was, there was a there. moment right at the end of that fight where he had uh it's jim miller i think and, and a bit of a submission attempt maybe mm -hmm. uh something with his arm kimura armbar or something of the like and i was screaming at my tv break his arm <laughs> break it and they ran out of time and i was like yeah <sighs> damn it I yeah. think Joe mostly the, lost because he didn't have fight. enough blood. <laughs> <laughs> did you see? Did you see the Devin Clark fight last year? I think it's Devin Clark. I think that's his name. I'm I sure I know. did, but I don't know uh, him by name. I watched right. like all. For of them. me personally, one of the best fights I've ever seen in UFC because mm. you can you can see at one point this dude gets punched and his teeth here, right? Like his whole gum splits all the way down, oh, and his man. whole thing is like completely fucked. Like I didn't see that. And he somehow the, the guy is just like, yeah, he's he's good to fight. And he just continues, goes in for another round and keeps going. I can't mm -hmm. even remember if he won or not, but I don't even care. Because, bro, <laughs> if you see a photo of his face afterwards, it was. I do remember a fight where the guy got back to his corner and he was sitting on the stool and he was telling his corner man, my teeth are falling out. Mm. My teeth are falling out. And he was like, sort of that. like and, and it's like, shit, man. They may have thrown the towel in on that one. It, it, that, that's oh, been no, a year. I remember a guy who had a, a similar conversation, but the problem was his jaw was broken, so his teeth didn't line up like they were like he's accustomed to them lining up. And yeah. they're like, "Oh shit, there's there's a problem right there. Right side's high, left side's low." And I think they called that fight too. <laughs>